Well, I'm joined now by Angus Robertson, who's the SNP's General Election Campaign Coordinator. So who would you like to win the election then? I'd like the SNP to win the election, and that's the choice we but have. But they're not going to win the election in the UK because they're not standing. So who would you like to win the UK election? Well, I would like there to be a hung parliament, uh, with the SNP having its best ever election result, because then if we hold the balance, we hold the power. And we've already said that we would not support the Tories in any circumstances. So it falls to reason to answer your question that it would be the other political parties, the Labour Party, potentially the Liberal Democrat, because, of course, it all depends on the numbers. <laughs> and it's good to talk through these things, but not a single vote has been cast. So I think it's, we've got to be, but, but just, to be, got to be careful so not to be presumptuous. Are you, what you're saying is you, you'd like a hung parliament, but you'd rather Labour was the largest party. I, I would. The, the most important variable factor in all of this is what the size of the SNP contingent is. Yes, because unless but you'd the rather SNP, Labour with a larger party. Well, can, I, can I just explain why it's important that the SNP has the, big, the biggest contingent possible? Because with the more votes, the more seats we have, the bigger our opportunity to influence those kind of decisions. Uh, and if the voters decide that they want to strengthen the SNP, so we have a strong contingent, so we hold the balance of power, we'll then be able to determine uh, which majority well, well, it, is possible. Except in the House given, of given you've ruled out doing a deal with the Tories, yeah. if all this complicated stuff you just explained ends up with David Cameron having an outright majority, it doesn't matter. Correct, and that's always been the problem. So therefore you'd rather have a Labour government? Well, I, I would rather have a government where the SNP has influence in, and that would be together with the Labour Party, Liberal Democrats, and in no circumstances uh, with the Tories. But to go but, back to the, the scenario you, you painted, you, forgive me. If you're painted, a voter, you can't you, vote for that. Well, hold on a second. You painted a scenario, what happens if the Tories are the biggest party and have a majority? Well, that's unfortunately what's happened to Scotland far too often. That is having a government elected right. at Westminster okay. that we did not but support. The, but the problem is you can't vote for what you want. Of course we can. If people vote for the SNP, and no, we no, have a large... All sorts of things could happen. You could, you could have an outright contingent. Tory majority. You could of have a, Tories as the largest this, party mm -hmm. doing a deal with the Liberal Democrats or, or, or other people. Look, there, are lot of, there are a lot of variable factors in a general election. Of course yes, they but are. One but thing, one thing, one, the, one but thing that one isn't thing variable is if you want a Labour government, the best thing you could do is vote Labour. Uh, no, the, the best thing uh, that's, to... That's no. just a statement of the bleeding obvious, No, it's not, it? because you misinterpret how the House of Commons works. Governments are determined by who is able to command a majority in the House of Commons. Now, you, you may point out, and you'd be correct to say, that there's actually a non-conservative majority in the current House of Commons. But unfortunately, the Labour Party preferred to allow the Tories uh, to govern instead of looking for a progressive alliance. We want that to change. And if we get more MPs and we hold the balance, so we have power, we will ensure that there is a non-conservative majority in that parliament and a government but, but that excludes the Tories. The, the best way to make sure David Cameron can't do another deal with the Liberal Democrats or the Ulster Unionists or whoever is to vote Labour. I don't see any way you can get round that. No, that's the mantra that we've, of course, heard from the Labour Party, and they're running out of well, reasons right. for people to vote for them. Uh, no, they're not right, and it's, the, it's just a simple fact. But it's simply bizarre the, to say the best way to get a, a Labour government is to vote SNP. No, that doesn't the, make any sense. No, well, you've misinterpreted what my preferred outcome is. My preferred outcome is a UK government where the SNP exerts influence, as in... But you, say, you also say you want situation. a Labour government, not a Tory one. I want a government... So if you want a Labour government, the best way to get it is to vote Labour. Gordon, we can go around the houses ten times on this. P voters in Scotland understand, voters in Scotland understand, that the, if the SNP returns the greatest number of MPs and no party has an overall majority, it's the SNP that will hold the balance. We will influence power, and that's a good thing. We are seeing today a raft of opinion polls, and have seen them since last year, showing that none of the two UK parties is heading for a majority. There hasn't been a poll indicating that that is going to happen. You're asking me so you uh, to, to go into a discussion on that basis. Well, that's well, not what's likely to happen. It just means if you want to Labour government, it's even more important no, to vote Labour, isn't what is it? Likely to what is likely to happen is that neither the Tories nor the Labour Party will have a majority, and that's a good thing because they don't deserve it. All right, the best okay. outcome for Scotland is the SNP holding the balance of power. Well, why are you getting yourself into such... Uh, convoluted situation over this. What, why not just say... It's not convoluted, it's pretty well, simple, why not just say? Why uh, not just say, look, we're Scottish nationalists, we don't care who runs the UK, we want the oh, best well, deal for Scotland. Well, we definitely don't we, want the Tories in. And again, I don't think that's difficult for voters in Scotland to, to understand. Uh, well, I would rather that Scotland were independent. Oh, I, would sorry, rather, sorry, I would rather well, that Scotland... Well, well, I, well, I, if it's me, not, let me finish hang on. my... Will if you it's let not me difficult my, for people to understand, perhaps you could explain something to your SNP supporters many of whom say, and I know they do, they've told me, Labour are the red Tories, we don't see any difference between the Tories and Labour. Why are your own supporters wrong 
when they say that. They're not wrong. We would all we all agree that There's we no would prefer. The we, would, we would all we're all agreed that we would prefer Scotland to be an independent country. So we always have the government that we elect. But they're wrong to say there's no difference between Tories and the Labour, aren't they? There, there is a difference between the Labour Party and the Tories on some things, but on others there are not. And so, so a when very your supporters call, call Labour the Red Vic Tories, they're wrong. Forgive me. Would you let me answer a single point after you ask me a question? Well, do it then. Good. Why are so they wrong to the call them the Red Tories? Will you let me answer? Yes, do it. Good. So. The, the latest example where there has been similarity between the Labour Party and the Tories has been an austerity. Recently there was a vote on it in the House of Commons and the Labour Party voted with the Tories on austerity. That is an example where there's no difference between the two. Do I believe, however, that we could influence a Labour government to take a different position on austerity? Yes, I do. I don't want the Tories in government in any shape or form. I'd rather that we had an independent Scotland... So when Scotland your supporters that we say Labour and the Tories the are the same, they're want. just wrong? No, I'm, what they are saying is that that uh, the best outcome for Scotland is that we would have the government that we always elect, and that would be, in the present time, because we know that from the polls, the SNP. That would be the preferred outcome. In a UK context, we have to determine either whether we would support the Tories in government or the Labour Party in government. And we are not going to support the Tories, so uh, the option that is open so to is to support a progressive vote, alliance Vote SNP the to get a Labour government, but there's no difference between Labour and the Tories. Uh, the, on many issues, there is no difference between the Labour okay. Party and the Tories. Right. We know that on Iraq, we know that on austerity, we know that on Trident. But we are there any circumstances change. in which you would uh, vote with the Tories to bring down a Labour government? Uh, I well, first off, let's let's get ourselves in a position where we are able to hold the balance of power. Well, well no, you want that. So, I'm so, asking you: Are so, there any circumstances where you would vote? with the Tories to bring down I, a Labour I, government? I have no plans to bring down uh, any government. What I do want to do is have a government that is reflective of voters' wishes. And as we know, voters in Scotland would prefer to see the so, SNP working together with the Labour Party if a majority so, allows uh, that. On. And that Are is you what we intend to do. you you envisage no circumstances in which the SNP would vote with the Tories to bring down a Labour government. Is that what you're saying? I, I currently do not envisage any circumstances, and the reason why is... Well, if I'm Ed is, Miliband, why should I pay the least bit of attention to what the SNP well, firstly, say? It is presumptive of politicians to even get beyond a scenario where we're trying to win an election. So we're explaining why it is that people well, should I, vote Alex, for Alex, I mean, Nicola Sturgeon elections. talk about little else than holding the balance of power in the in UK. Indeed, and that's why I'm trying to set out a stall in the areas where the SNP can uh, exercise influence, that is on more power for Scotland, taking a different approach to austerity, making sure that we don't waste £100 billion on, on Trident renewal. These are areas that the SNP could influence change. That is no, never going to happen no, with the Tories. Gonna... It could happen Sorry, with the Labour Party. Sorry, how could you influence change? If you're telling me as well, you are now, you, you can, hang on, you're saying you can envisage no circumstances in which you would ally with the Tories to bring down a Labour government. If I'm the Labour Party, if I'm Ed Miliband, I just think, well, that's fine if we've got a minority government. We'll just ignore the SNP. We won't give them anything well, they want. You, I'll, because their, their campaign leader has just told us there are no circumstances you, in which they'll vote well, us you, down. You, you misunderstand the way in which the House of Commons works. One actually has to work with other parties. And I have experience of, of doing that with the Labour Party. When Ed Miliband called to talk about the Syria vote that would determine whether we would back British military intervention in Syria or not, he wanted to work with the SNP then. Why? Because he needed a majority. If political parties want to build a majority and have a constructive working relationship, they will pick up the phone, one will talk to one another, and one you will hope. make, we will make arrangements. Why, well, that, why are you saying you, there are no that's, circumstances that's in which you would politics. bring them down? Look, if I'm a Scottish nationalist listening to this, um, and all I want is the best deal for Scotland. Mm -hmm. And I say to you, well, well look, hang on a second, why, why all this stuff about backing the Labour Party? What if David Cameron had a, was desperate for power and turned around and said to you, you can have the fiscal autonomy you've been demanding. You could just have well, it. I, and Labour say no. Are you really telling me you're not going to back a, to a Tory well, government? Uh, what, even I'm, what, I'm going to t what I'm telling you is that the SNP is going to do after the election what it promises it's going to do before the election. And we have promised that we will not support a Tory government. E even if they offered you the full fiscal autonomy, you'd the, say get lost. The idea that the Tories are going to deliver full fiscal autonomy to They might offer you a better deal for, for, well, than Labour. Who knows? I, I, I think that's highly unlikely. Yeah, yes, I but think, you've I ruled it out in advance, which is rotten politics. No, no, 
put no, it mildly. Well, let's deal with the world as it is, as opposed to how one might imagine it. The Tories do not have a tremendous record on wishing to deliver power for Scotland. It's the SNP that forces that change. It is true to say, however, though, that the SNP returning uh, an unprecedented number of members of Parliament to the Westminster Parliament will influence things that are decided there. And it is only by uh, electing more SNP MPs that we will be able to force them to deliver on the promise that was that were made in the run-up to the referendum. And that would be but the benefit I, I of Scotland. I come back to this point. If I'm a, a nationalist, and that's my main concern, I mean, if I'm someone in uh, uh, Angus or Perth and Kinross, or even in Murray, who might be consider myself a Conservative with a small C or a capital C, and but I voted for you because I think, well, that Angus Robertson, I, I want Scotland to have a strong voice at Westminster. I'd, I'd like David Cameron to stay Prime Minister. I'm sure there are people like, like, like that. I voted Angus Robertson. He seems like a terribly moderate, sensible chap. Now he's sitting on live television telling me a vote for Angus Robertson is a vote to make Ed Miliband Prime Minister. That's the last thing I want. A vote for the SNP is a vote for the SNP to hold the balance of power. That's what we're aiming for. And back Labour. And, and, it's a vote for you and, to back Labour. You've quite explicitly in, said that. We have, we have expressly said we will not support the Tories, but we will work with other progressive so what are you, parties. So what would you say to and people that like... like the, and I, that I've involves imagined the Labour being... Party, that involves the Liberal Democrats, and not the Tories. We're absolutely so clear on that. So what will you say to people in your own constituency? I, I've just mentioned. Well, they're, who, they're, they're watching this interview, so they know exactly where we stand on the issue. So a vote for Angus Robertson is under no circumstances a vote to, for David Cameron. Correct. But it is under circumstances you would like to think might happen, a vote for Ed Miliband. It's a, no, it's a vote for the SNP to hold the balance of power, to get the best out of the circumstances, to force them to deliver on powers for Scotland, to force them to take a different attack uh, uh, approach on austerity, to force them to think about okay. Trident again. It is about changing their approach to things that if the SNP holds the balance of power, we will ex ex exercise that power and influence right, in, in to the better, not just of Scotland, but the rest of the UK as well. In her speech yesterday, Nicola Sturgeon was very concerned to count to this uh, Conservative campaign to say, look, you know, a Labour-SNP alliance, the SNP are just trying to break up Britain, that's all they'll try to do. She, she tried to reach out to people in England and say, look, the SNP could be, with Labour, a progressive force for everyone in Britain, right? Uh, well, if that's the case and the Tories are long, wrong, would you like to give a commitment that should you find yourself in the position you would like to find yourself in of backing a minority Labour government, you will not try to break up Britain for the duration of the next parliament. Well, the, the, Scotland will not become independent, I don't think, in the next four years. Why? Because we took a decision last year. I would have wished it to be a yes. I want Scotland to be independent. But I don't, I don't foresee circumstances where there's going to be another referendum in the next uh, few short years. This so, this so you won't election, be going into the this, Scottish elections next year this, pledging another referendum? This election is for the Westminster Parliament, and we're trying sure. to get elected on a platform of influencing decisions at Westminster. But, but, but hang on. The so, Tory central office can remain assured, from what you've just said, you will not be going into next year's Scottish election saying, if we get a majority, we'll hold another referendum. Well, I'm sure you'll be inviting my colleagues from the SNP. But you've in, just said that. Uh, you asked me, do I foresee circumstances that Scotland will become independent in the next four years? I would wish it were to be true, but the voters of Scotland determined that that would not be the so case you won't last be, year. you won't be trying to hold another referendum well, then? It, well, I'm, I'm, when the public want there to be a referendum, there will be a referendum. Yes, but the public will want the referendum by voting for an SNP Indeed. manifesto that pledges one. Yeah, now, you seem to be suggesting the SNP well, should I, not pledge that. No, I'm, I'm suggesting that next that's year... Exactly I'm, what I'm suggesting that next year the SNP will go into the Scottish Parliament elections to return an SNP Scottish Government and Nicola Sturgeon at First Minister. It is for the public to decide when they want a referendum, when they're ready for a referendum, but you won't be and when they can it. win a referendum. The decision you was made. The decision was made last year that that is not now, and I'm sorry about that. I would wish you her can't to be foresee that in the, ter in the term well, of the I next don't parliament. Have a, I don't have a crystal ball to know when the public wishes there to be another referendum. I am sure I that it will come, it and I and I am positive that it will be one. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Look, Angus Robertson, uh, let you get back to your conference. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now you're watching Sunday Politics.